Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike, this is Mike Tech Builds. In today's video, we'll be going through wood panelling. So over the years, I've done so many different panelling for all my customers. Some people like it all the way up the wall, some people just like it halfway up, or if you have like a dado rail, people like it in between the dado rail and the bottom. But in my bedroom, I'm gonna keep things fairly simple and just be doing square pattern all over. So the panelling I'll be using is 12mm MDF. Uh, by all means, if you want to use a thinner MDF or thicker MDF, just depending on how thicker uh, panelling you'd like it to look on the wall. 12mm um, um, I've always used just because I think it gives it a nice depth and it's not too much in your face. And it's a bit subtle as well once it's all painted in. So with the panelling, um, you'll notice inside the bedroom I haven't done the skirting board yet. So with the panelling, although if you've got skirting already, you can just drop it down to the skirting, but then sometimes you lose the definition at the top. So it's nice to take the skirting off where you're doing the panelling, drop the panelling all the way down to the floor, and then put your skirting boards over the panelling once it's full fitted inside. The only bit that you might lose is where the panelling butts up to your coving, if you've got coving, I've got coving. Um, you might lose a little bit of definition of where it sticks out for the coving above. But apart from that, it's not too much. Once it's all painted, it all looks like it all blended in and then you'll never know. So in this video, I wanted to make it um, really easy and DIY friendly for all you beginners. Um, just because I know some people have watched quite a few different people doing videos of it and made it a little bit complicated. So I just wanted to do it fairly simple and hopefully you pick it up and if you want to do it in your own home hopefully you won't have any problems and I've made this video nice and easy for all of you lot. So with the MDF panelling uh, you'll want to get full sheets of MDF boards and then what you'll do you'll cut into strips like this or if you haven't got anywhere to cut it with um, you might be able to go down to your local DIY shop ask for a full sheet of MDF in the 12mm and ask for it to be cut into the strips of the size that you want. Uh, so this strip is 82mm wide by 12mm thick as we've said already. Um, this is something I've played around with quite a lot um, just to see what it looks best in my bedroom. Um, if you want it slightly wider or slightly shorter by all means you decide on how wide you want it. So once you've got the size you want what you want to do is cut it into strips and then what you want to do is cut some little bits off the end like this size and then what we're going to do we're going to stand them up against the wall all the way along and then what we're going to do we're going to play with the sizes of the gaps and what looks best on our wall i'll show you try and make it easy as possible with your off cuts all you're going to do is prop them up against the wall like i have done and then once you're happy with the spacing all you're going to do is remember what distance you've got in between each of them and then that is how you want it. And then with the panelling, so obviously you'll have a border that goes across the top first and a border that goes across the bottom. So I've done a little sample here. So you've got your skirting board, so this is just a little off cut, off cut off. And then you've got the border that goes across the skirting and then your uprights will go in between the bottom border and the top border. We've sorted the uprights down along there, as you can see them at the bottom going up. So that's equal distance going up and we're happy with that. Now what we're going to want to do, we're going to work out what they are going across to form our squares. So the easiest way of doing that is to... So what we're going to do, we're going to measure from floor to ceiling and then we're going to do that on the floor so i measure from that from the end of the wall to here is that's the height of my wall so what i'm going to do now i've put a skirting board which will be at the bottom of the floor and then that's our first boulder that will go across and then i've done the same that end and then what you'll see i've put one there and one there and then that's equal distance in between and as it's on the floor you can just play around with it much as you want and then you can decide how much of distance you want in between. So you have them ones going along the floor, so once you're happy with them, and then what you could do is try and mimic the distance between that and these ones. It just depends how square you want the squares on there. So luckily for me, those distances on the wall are only 10, 15 mil out from where I'm having it here. You might have different sizes. You might want rectangles or you might want squares like me. It just all depends on preference what you want. 
So we've worked out the distances for our panning to go on the walls. Hopefully it was straightforward for you as it was for me. Um, so before it goes on the walls, you want to give it a good lick of paint. Uh, so with this, you're going to want to prime and undercoat it first and then top coat it with a wood finish as you want. Uh, with, in my case, I am going to buy a wood finish to match the walls um, and then it all blends in together. So as you can see, all our wood is cut and primed and painted to match our feature wall colour. You'll notice this one is slightly wider than these ones. This is because, so this is our Strassen board that will be going along the bottom in our bedroom. When I place this, so this will be going across the bottom first and then once that sits on the floor, this distance along here matches the thickness of these so these and that will match all in together and then the reason why I've done this bigger than those ones is because the skirting has got something solid to fit to onto the wall so with that said what we're going to be doing we're going to be putting a run across the bottom a run across the top and then what you're going to do, do your outside edges first then you're going to fill them in equally spaced and then a same vertically all the way up until you're happy with it all. So to fit our panelling on our wall we're going to need some tools. So we're going to need a chop saw to cut all the wood. Um, I'd recommend to use a nail gun. By all means you can plug and screw it. Um, just bear in mind if you've got solid walls this might be a bit tricky to go into the bricks. As I've got soft walls uh, this will go straight into the bricks and because we're going to be using adhesive it will hold it uh, in place uh, enough for it all to set like concrete. Uh, wood glue for the joints, tape measure to me measure everything um, and then adhesive for your panelling. Um, I've always used silicone uh, because it's it's nice and squidgy once it's pressed up against the wall and it doesn't, once it's set, it sets like concrete. Um, by all means use wood adhesive um, but I've always used silicone and uh, yeah I've always had really, I've had good luck with silicone so I've always recommended it for myself, for all my builds. Um, and then to get everything nice and level, by all means use a four or six foot level, or if you've seen in the previous videos, I've used a laser level, so that's what this little thing is. And then that'll just paint the laser line nice and level, and then I can just do all the panelling to my lines that is shining at the laser level. So with that, we'll, uh, we'll crack on.
that's the panelling complete. Um, all we've got to do now is get some wood filler, just put a little bit over the pinholes, uh, a little bit of cork here and there, and then give it a light sand over, maybe like a 121 at 80 grit sandpaper. And then once you're happy with the filling and sanding, uh, just give it a lick of paint, maybe one or two coats will just finish it off nicely. Um, and then, yeah, that is it. But um, that is all we have time for today. As always, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't done already, please subscribe to the channel and I shall see you in the next one. Cheers, bye.